regreso aquí en Auto 060 y hablando de aniversarios, otro aniversario que sucedió esta, esta, esta pasada semana fue uno más del torneo que se llama el Masters Junior eh, Tournament de Volkswagen, Junior Master National Tournament, para decirlo de manera correcta, un evento muy interesante y que combina, como decía, dos de, las, eh, de los temas favoritos míos, los autos y el fútbol. En este caso, un torneo para jóvenes de menos de 12 años que se, cuya final se realizó recientemente en Kansas City en conjunto con... Oh, el eh, All-Star Game de la Major League Soccer. Así que vamos a escuchar la entrevista con Jamie Mayer, la responsable de comunicaciones del grupo Volkswagen para el Volkswagen Junior Master National Tournament. So now uh, we're talking with Jamie Mayer from the Volkswagen Group, uh, talking about soccer, one of my favorite topics, uh, along with cars, of course. But uh, Volkswagen uh, has been a, a huge supporter of soccer here in the States for a long time. And uh, So Jamie, uh, you have uh, good news about um, Master Junior Junior Masters Tournament, right? I've just finished here in the States. Yes, we do. Uh, we are excited to say that SoCal United, uh, the team from San Diego, will be representing us at the World Junior Masters International Tournament in Italy next May. Yeah, this is a very, very exciting program. I had the opportunity to attend the final in Madrid, I think, in 2010. And uh, the U.S. team uh, uh, sadly didn't do that well. But, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a great thing. Why, why is soccer so important for Volkswagen here in the States and around the world? Uh, because it's, a, it's the number one sport in the world. It's a global sport, and, and we're a global brand. So we feel it's really important to recognize and honor uh, really the number one sport and also the sport that is really becoming more and more popular in the United States for kids. Yeah. And, and of course, uh, Volkswagen has, uh, I don't know if from the very beginning, but uh, it's been a um, sponsor, a supporter for MLS, Major League Soccer here in the States. Uh, when it started, I believe it was 96, right? And uh, I mean, the, the fact that the U.S. team is now ranked pretty high in, around the world is in part uh, thanks to the help from Volkswagen support, right? That's correct. The league started in 1996 and Volkswagen started our relationship in 2008. So we're now in year six, and we're really excited um, to be a part of the growth that the league is experiencing um, as we grow our brand and, and in, our, in the U.S., and, and they're growing their brand as well. It's a really nice uh, partnership to have together. So the Junior Masters National Tournament, it's uh, age-regulated, right? So uh, it's, it's the only one category under 12, or what are, are there more? That's correct. It's U12 boys. Yeah, U12 boys. And... Uh, You said that the, the tournament for this year is sovereign, and so like the team from San Diego is uh, representing the states. But uh, I mean, this is uh, this has been happening for a long time, right? Uh, so how do people get uh, get ready to start like thinking about next year, maybe? Uh, you're correct. The tournament has been going on in the U.S. since 2009, um, and the, the tournament for this year is complete. But it's a national tournament that we run every year in about 10 different cities around the country. Uh, that will we usually run it between. March and early June, and the reason is because we hold the final tournament each year in conjunction with the MLS All-Star Game that happens at the end of July. So we want to be able to have the teams have enough time to um, compete and then also raise their funds for travel. Uh, we have a website, uh, juniormasters.com, that people can go to get information. Yeah. Actually, uh, and, uh, right, it's it's com. Yeah, and it's limited to some cities, or where we can teams from anywhere in the country can participate in the tournament. Yes, that's correct. Uh, what we do is we partner with existing tournaments, and we basically own the U12 category becomes the Junior Masters competition. Uh, the reason for that is because we wanted to align with tournaments that already are well known and have long-standing credibility. Um, but then we have that particular U12 bracket, for lack of a better term, that is ultimately renamed to the Junior Masters Tournament, and then that's how those teams can then um, compete to be part of the Nationals. So what we do is we hold it currently in 10 cities, and the top two teams from each of those cities are invited to come to the finals. Oh, okay. So there's like 20 teams and uh, the final tournament? Yes. Oh, okay. And then I guess they participate during the during the weekend, or like more or less like the one uh, that is held uh, worldwide, like the final for the world? So they participate during a long weekend and they have like, I don't remember, but they were like 20 minute matches or something like that. Uh, how, how does that work, the final uh, tournament? That's it. 
So each regional tournament um, is takes place on weekends because, as I said, they're the existing tournaments. The final that takes place in conjunction with the All Star Game is the All Star Game is on a Wednesday, uh, usually the last week of July. Uh, even though we don't know the official date yet for next year, what it does is if the kids will usually travel in on the Monday, they compete on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then um, after the championship is finished on that Wednesday, they all get to attend the All Star Game. Um, so you're correct that each team gets to play three times when they come through the national finals, and the, those, each of those three matches are, have 20 minute halves, and then the final match between the final two teams is 25 minute halves. Yeah, that's great. But well, Jamie Mason from uh, the Volkswagen Group in the United States uh, talking about the uh, Volkswagen Junior Master National Tournament that it's done for this year, but uh, it's gonna st people are, should start getting ready for next year, right? So thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck for the U.S. team. I mean, although it's still a long time, right? When are they going to be competing? Next summer in Rome? They're going to compete next May in Rome. We're waiting for the final dates from our colleagues in Germany, but it will be next May. Well, good luck to the U.S. team uh, representing uh, from San Diego. And thank you very much for your time, Jamie. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Pues ahí está otra de las actividades separadas que hacen los fabricantes de autos acá en Estados Unidos y en todo el mundo. Volkswagen, una, una de las partes más importantes de, en cuanto a los sponsors, en cuanto al apoyo corporativo que tiene la Major League Soccer. El torneo, el Junior Master, se realizó, como decía Jamie, en Kansas City en conjunto con el All-Star Game de la Major League Soccer que se jugó eh, hace unos días a, para celebrar eh, a, los, a las estrellas de la MLS que siempre juegan contra un equipo europeo. Y ahí se realizó el torneo para los uh, equipos, 20 equipos de eh, la categoría Under 12, de menos de 12 años, eh, que pueden llegar a participar en ese torneo. Así que muy importante eh, el soporte que tiene Volkswagen para el fútbol en Estados Unidos. Así que estamos llegando al final de Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota. Muchas gracias a DJ Cafa y en la cabina de control ayudándonos con la producción. Y los espero muy pronto en otra edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.